Okay, take a look at the system that we, or the problem we got on the board here. Adult tickets to a basketball game cost five dollars. Student tickets cost a dollar. A total of two thousand six hundred twenty-three dollars was collected on the sale of one thousand one hundred nineteen tickets. How many of each type of ticket were sold? Okay, so we're going to have to write and solve a system of equations in order to solve this problem. First thing we want to do is define our variables. So we're looking for our question asks us how many of each type of ticket were sold. Well, what do we got? We got student tickets and we got adult tickets. So let's say the adults, we'll call the X's and we'll call the student tickets the Y's. Again, we could use any variables, but I tend to just stick with X and Y. So I'm going to call the X's are going to represent my student tickets, the Y's are going to represent my, excuse me, the Y's, my students, the X, my adults. All right, think about it. I'm paying $5 for an adult ticket. So it's 5x, $5 per adult ticket, plus $1 per student ticket. And that gave us a total of $2,623. So there's the first equation that we need to solve this. $5 per adult ticket plus $1 per student ticket gives us a total of $2,623. And the other equation we need to talks about the number of tickets, not the much the money, the money involved, but the number of tickets. So if I took all of the adult tickets plus all of the student tickets, I would have sold a total of 1,119 tickets. Now we have a system of equations that we could use to solve this problem. Now when you look at this system of equations, you notice that you have positive 1y in both equations. That means this equation or this system would be very easy to solve by elimination. If we subtract these two equations, we will eliminate the y. 1y minus 1y, no more y. So let's do that. 5x minus 1x is going to give us 4x. And 2,623 minus 1,119, I'm thinking is going to give us 1,504, I hope. All right, 15.04. And now we want to solve for x. We want to get that x by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 4. And when we do that, we're left with x equals 376. So now we know that the solution to this system, the x value, is going to be 376. So now we've got to find the y value to round out this situation. And to do that, what we're going to do is plug in our 376 into either equation, and I'm thinking I'm going to use this bottom equation. So I'm going to plug in the 376 for the x and solve for the y. So we can say that 376 plus y equals 1,119. So we've plugged in this 376 into this equation for x, and now let's figure out what our y value is. We'll subtract 376 whoops, 376 from both sides, and we end up with y equals, it's going to be 743. <clears throat> so our y value is going to be 743. And you could check this solution if we were to plug in 376 in for x, and 743 in for y, 5 times 376 um, plus 1 times 743 equals 2,623, and 376 plus 743 equals 1,119. So this solution checks on both equations, so we know that that is the correct solution to this system of equations. 376 adult tickets and 743 student tickets.